So good afternoon, students. Welcome to Chenna Basveshar PU Science College online classes, IIT J and NEET. Right, myself uh, Shekhar Gaud. So I will teach uh, chemistry. Today we are going to start uh, some basics uh, to understand chemistry. Uh, so slowly one by one we will learn all basics which are important to crack JE and uh, NEET point of view. Uh, well, uh, let me start the uh, importance of chemistry and uh, its basics to understand many concepts like uh, uh, physical chemistry, organic and inorganic chemistry. For that, uh, today we are going to discuss some basics. Today means one month we will continuously discuss all basics only. Right. So today, our uh, main session is what? Basic things in chemical science. So what are the basic things required to understand chemistry? That what today we are going to discuss. Right, first let me give the importance of chemistry. Right, tell me what is the importance of chemistry? So around us, so everything is what uh, chemistry. If you see the nature, in the nature and everything is what made up of with one of element or compound or some composition. Right here if you take it, there are many compounds like ionic compounds means in that ions will be there. There are covalent compounds, means there are many covalent compounds. And uh, if you have it uh, like uh, different matter like uh, liquids, solids and gases and uh, everything, everything is what made up of with any one of element or metals or some ions. So this is what uh, uh, we are getting. So different states of matter in the universe. So if you take it um, around us, there are many things. For example, this board and chalk piece and myself and uh, food material, chocolates, ice creams and uh, this what clothes and uh, uh, iron things, everything, everything, cement, everything is what made up of with any one of chemical compound. So that's why so chemistry is very, very important to understand around that what um, science in our day to day life. So right, further so chemistry is important, right. In uh, 11th and 12th standard, so you will be having three category of uh, chemistry. So in that mainly one is physical chemistry, second one is inorganic chemistry, third one is organic chemistry, right. So all three together, so all are equally important, right. So uh, here, first one is what inorganic chemistry. Inorganic means what? Um, there are many different type of what elements and inorganic compounds. So mainly we will discuss in inorganic chemistry area. And next in physical chemistry, mainly we will discuss how this what formulas. Physical chemistry formulas and principles applicable to get what um, any behavior of and uh, nature of chemical reaction. So this is what we will discuss from the physical chemistry. So physical chemistry is little bit connected with most of the physics topics. And next, uh, organic chemistry. If you see the organic chemistry, organic means what? Um, organos means life. So in life, uh, life means what? To get living system. So you need to have carbon, oxygen, nitrogen. So here, um, made means uh, this combination of carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen. So you will be getting what? Um, all living molecules, like, uh, like uh, carbohydrates, proteins, amino acids, and DNA and RNA. So these are what we are getting from the organic molecules. So in that organic molecules, major element is what carbon. So that's why we have separate one that what chemistry of carbon. That is what we are seeing organic chemistry. So in organic chemistry, we will discuss very detail. Okay, in chemistry there are mainly three branches. And one more, you can have it uh, means you can take separately for a practical point of view. That is what uh, analytical chemistry. So in that analytical chemistry, we have to identify inorganic cations and anions. You have to identify, and next uh, organic like functional groups. So in 11th, uh, PU1 and PU2. So there will be a practical chemistry. In that, we will discuss that what analytical chemistry. So this analytical chemistry also, you can take it as separate and practical point of view, one branch. This is what um, qualitative and quantitative analysis. So in that what um, you will find the unknown organic or inorganic compound. So whatever the compound given from the methods. So this is what mainly means broadly we are going to discuss in these two years. So to crack JE or NITES. This is what you need to aware about chemistry. Right. Now, to understand chemistry, so what are the main important things you need to have it, means you need to understand. 
Right, first thing is what, uh, before starting chemistry, we should know elements. So what are the elements? And uh, there are total how many elements? And uh, how they are classified? So you'll be having, I think, uh, in ninth year, ninth standard and 10th standard. So you have periodic table and its classification. Means uh, you'll be having up to, I think, uh, 30 atomic number of elements from hydrogen to zinc element. So these uh, elements you need to do reta. Okay, you have to remember, means you have to memorize all elements from 1 to 30. So without memorizing 30 elements, it's a little difficult to understand chemistry principles, whether it is inorganic or organic. So firstly, what you have to do, so you have to, today you have to read and you have to memorize all elements from atomic number 1 to atomic number 30. This is what you have to do today. So once you memorize elements, then so it will be interesting. So whatever you are learning in the chemistry, definitely it will give them some interest. So with interest, definitely you will get what uh, you can learn the many things and easily you can crack your JER needs. So this is what you need to understand. So without memorizing elements, so definitely you will feel like a little difficult in chemistry. So right. Now, today our topic, today our topic is formula, writing formula and uh, formation of formula of different compounds like uh, ionic and uh, covalent compounds. Mainly, you will be having covalent compounds and ionic compounds in the nature and uh, there are some coordinate covalent type also. But today, mainly we are going to discuss ionic compounds and their formulas. Right, what is ionic compound? How you will get ions? This is what you need to understand. Right, before getting ions, you should know the elements. What are the elements and how they will give ions? So, there are two type of ions, positive ions and uh, negative ions how we are getting negative ions and how we are getting positive ions. This is what uh, you need to understand, right, to, to understand formation of ions. You need to know the basics like uh, elements and its symbols. So after knowing the symbols then, so we will continue formation of ions and after knowing formation of ions, we will write the formula of any ionic compound, right. Now let me start uh, elements with uh, atomic numbers. So let me write it uh, right here. Totally there are uh, how many elements till today? I think uh, you would have studied in your 10th standard and 9th standard. So already it is there in chemistry. So totally in the to today classification, in the today classification of periodic table. So we will be having 118 elements. So these 118 elements will be classified 7 periods and 18 groups. 7 periods and 18 groups. So this is what the classification we have. So later, briefly we will discuss how they classified 7 periods and 18 groups. So what is the basic property which is what uh, making order of classification of periodic table. So later we will discuss this point. Right, so firstly you have to know the 30 elements, minimum 30 elements. So what are the 30 elements? <coughs> Please say. Right, one thing here. So whenever class is there, means whenever uh, any teacher class is there, please take one, any one, any one of running modes, you have to maintain one running modes and take paper and pen. So whatever the point you are feeling new, definitely you have to write it in the running modes. This is what all boys and girls. So firstly, what you have to take, you have to maintain one running modes. So please, you have to keep your running modes. So you have to note down, so whatever you are learning today, so you have to note down and you have to read it. So after reading, you have to recollect. So this is what you have to do. So all boys and girls, please take your running notes and uh, take running notes and uh, start listening class. So without running notes, so it will be wasting of your time. So definitely today by evening itself or tomorrow you will forget everything. So if you make it one running notes, definitely you can revise it and tomorrow you can recollect all basics and after even two years also, you can read uh, your running notes. So before NEET and JE advance exam. So please maintain good running modes, definitely it will help uh, to crack good rank in NEET and JE point up. This is what one habit. So you have to make it of habit to write running modes, whether it's physics or chemistry or mathematics or biology, whatever it is. Right, please boys and girls, students, so you have to maintain running modes. Right, now let me give them 30 elements. Right now we will start uh, 30 elements. Right, first tell me what is the elements? So there are what uh, elements, elements and uh, their atomic numbers, atomic numbers, right? Uh, we know that totally 118 elements, these elements classified 7 periods, 18 groups. 
but it's very difficult to learn all 100 elements in a day. In one day, it's very difficult. So you can't learn in one day. So at least 30, today 30, like that. So every day at least 10 elements, if you memorize, then it, it will be easy after one week. So please, before coming, that what um, uh, college, definitely you have to learn all elements, 30 elements. Right, today I'll give what 30 elements, so which are very, very important to understand the chemistry. Right, so what is the element? What is the element? We are talking about elements, elements, elements. So what is the element? Element is what? Um, smallest entity in a substance. Smallest entity in a substance. So by repeating this element, you will get what? Total compound. So by repeating, so you will get what? Total, that what? Um, metal, whatever, metallic elements are there. So that is what? Element is the what? Identity of the smallest units in the Elemental means metal, metallic thing, metallic thing, so you can get it element. That is what pure form. So pure form is a typical word element. Right? Totally there are 118 elements in the periodic table till today. So what is the name of 118 elements? Un, un, octium is the 118 element. First element name is what? Hydrogen. So hydrogen is the first element and uh, un, un, octium is the 118 elements. So these are what uh, in between there are, so totally you will be having 116 elements. Right now, firstly we are going to discuss 30 elements. Right now, I will give what name of element, its atomic number and symbol. So here, um, name of elements, name of elements, element name and here atomic number and uh, symbol, symbol and uh, here existence, existence in the nature, okay. Existence in the nature, nature how it will exist, exist in the nature. Next, uh, electronic configuration. I will give what term, uh, electronic configuration of uh, elements, right, first element. So what is the name of first element? It is what, uh, hydrogen. First name of element is what, hydrogen. So atomic number will be denoted by Z. So Z is the atomic number and first element name is what, uh, here atomic number is what, uh, one and symbol of this element is what, uh, here always you have to write, uh, 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 atomic number will be right side, means left side of the element symbol means here you have to write it this is what one okay next uh, this is what electronic configuration and uh, atomic mass also you can write it down uh, atomic mass of element atomic mass of element so write totally here you will be having six columns so in first column name of the element and second column atomic number and third column symbol of element and uh, existence in the nature how it will exist whether it is pure elemental form it will exist or in combined form it will exist that what we are going to discuss. Next uh, electronic configuration, EC means electronic configuration of the element. Next uh, atomic mass, so what is the atomic mass? Atomic mass will be denoted by A, A is what atomic mass of atom, right. First uh, in this word first uh, element is what hydrogen, its atomic number is what 1 and uh, symbol is what H and uh, in the nature hydrogen mainly exists in the form of H2. So pure hydrogen atomic state not exists. Why? Because atoms are unstable. So whenever they are unstable, definitely they will try to combine with other atoms. So after combining, they will form the molecule. That's why in the nature, whenever you take hydrogen, so hydrogen available in the form of H2 only. This is what molecule, H2 form only will exist, not H, not H. So you need to remember here. Right. So hydrogen molecule will exist in the nature but not hydrogen atom. Right. If you want to get a hydrogen atom, then what you have to do? You have to break the hydrogen-hydrogen bond. So if you break this HH bond, you will get what? Two hydrogen atoms from one hydrogen molecule. So if you want to get it atoms, you can take it a molecule. From the molecule you will get the atoms. Right. So these atoms are not exist in the nature. Why? Because they are unstable. Right. Next, uh, it's electronic configuration. So already it is there in 9th standard and 10th standard, you know the electronic configuration, how you can write the electronic configuration. So from the atomic structure, in the atomic structure, so you will be having what Mylar diagram. According to what Mylar, you can write the increasing order of energy of that what um, electrons. So in the orbits. Right, now electronic configuration will be what? Uh, 1 is 1. Right, next uh, atomic mass of hydrogen will be what? 1. Next one more, one more thing here. So atomic mass A. And uh, you can write it here, this some elements will exist in isotopic form also. There are some isotopes. So what are isotopes? Let me give it here one table. Isotopes. So let me give, what are isotopes? 
what are isotopes already you know isotopes isotopes are the species with the same atomic number with different mass number so here atomic number will be same but mass number is what different so those species are said to be isotopes in all isotopes atomic number will be same difference is what only mass number this is what you need to remember right here isotopes what are the isotopes of hydrogen so this is what uh, deuterium and uh, tritium this is what uh, tritium this is the di molecular form so this is what uh, di deuterium and di tritium so deuterium and tritium are the isotopes of hydrogen if we take it uh, deuterium deuterium atomic number mass will be 2 and atomic number is 1 and tritium atomic mass will be 3 and uh, atomic number is 1 hydrogen atomic number is 1 and mass number is 1 right if you see that here all atomic numbers are same only these are the mass numbers so above the symbol right side whatever you are writing in top that is what atomic mass so here atomic mass 1 here atomic mass 2 here atomic mass 3 so how you are getting atomic mass later i'll give just first you need to remember here isotopes some of atoms some of elements elemental atoms will exist isotopes also so hydrogen available in the form of three isotopes that is h1 h2 h3 but all atomic numbers are same <coughs> right this is what you need to remember here right so here first let me once again explain hydrogen is the first element its atomic number is one and its symbol is what h so please read with me okay so don't sit simply so please read <coughs> Right, the next symbol is what H and uh, H hydrogen atom exists in the nature is what H2 form and next its electronic configuration of hydrogen atom is what uh, 1s1. Here there is atomic number 1 means there is only one electron. So then you will get what 1s1. 1s1 means in the first uh, orbit in uh, S subshell. So there will be a one electron that is 1s1. Next atomic mass of this hydrogen atom is 1 and uh, hydrogen will exist in different isotopic forms and these are the isotopic molecules so d2 and t2 these are what d2 and t2 so if you take it atom of d then it will be d2 mass number is 2 and tritium mass number is 3 but their atomic numbers are same so what are isotopes isotopes means same atomic number differ with mass number or said to be isotopes okay right this is what first element next uh, second element is what uh, helium helium so helium atomic number is what 2 and uh, symbol is what he he is what stands for helium next uh, here uh, h2 exists in what uh, monoatomic state there is no molecule formation so you need to remember here helium does not form any molecule so that's why it is existing only monoatomics why because it is already stable it is a inert gas inert gas means highly stable gas so why because that's why it will not form any bonds with other elements it will exist in monoatomic state so monoatomic state these are said to be what uh, monoatomic monoatomic element monoatomic element next uh, its configuration if you see the electronic configuration 1s2 next uh, atomic mass of helium is 4 and uh, isotopes of helium so helium so does not form isotopes but uh, in some reactions you will get what uh, helium here 2 and uh, 3 also will get it. This is what one of isotope of helium and uh, helium 2 and uh, helium 4. This is what the natural existence. This is what uh, in the during reactions you will get what HE3. So these two are the isotopes of helium atom. Right. Right. So you know I think um, in 7th standard so you will be having what uh, how this what atoms or elements are getting names. Hydrogen means what? According to Greek and Latin hydrogen means water former hydrogen means water former if you see the water what is the symbol of water h2o h2o in that there are two hydrogens to form water you need to have hydrogen so hydrogen is the main important element to form water that's why hydrogen is hydrogen meaning is what water former this water uh, this word came from greek and latin what a uh, greek lattice okay that uh, different country greeks and uh, latin countries so this hydrogen is the Greek and Latin, not English word. Okay, hydrogen means water former. So right next, helium. So helium is like that. So there are some importance of elements. Helium means what? Helios. Helios means what? It is also Greek word. Helios means sun. Okay. Mostly this element exists in water on the sun atmosphere. Sun is a one type of star. 
so on sun atmosphere so due to what uh, hydrogen atoms nuclear fusion so due to nuclear fusion you will get what helium formation will takes place and energy also will be released so due to what this releasing energy only you are getting what the sunlight total sunlight you are getting so getting sunlight is what process of nuclear fusion so nuclear means which are the nuclear means hydrogen nuclei combined the resultant you are getting helium so this formation of helium is a exothermic reaction this energy will be released in the form of different energy forms but uh, on that what our earth atmosphere only getting visible light and the some part of ultraviolet waves also we are getting but uh, this a uh, nuclear fusion will give different um, radiations okay right so helium means what uh, sun helium means according to geek sun so this element exists on the sun surface mainly okay that formation right helium is what monoatomic element monoatom means it will not form any bonds why because already it is stable once it is stable how it will form bonds yes or no right so here it is a atomic monoatomic state this is what uh, second element next uh, third one is what um, lithium 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 is the third element its atomic number is what 3 uh, and uh, symbol of lithium is what uh, li symbol of lithium is li so li will exist li to form okay li to form that what uh, here actually so li is what metallic actually here li to form also will exist okay this is what solid and uh, here uh, lithium solid so lithium is what metallic and li2 also will exist so later in chemical bonding chapter we will discuss whether li2 will exist or not yes it will exist and lithium mostly it will exist in metallic form so in the lithium metal there are lithium many atoms repeating atoms will be there that together is said to be what lithium metal right now if you see the electronic configuration of lithium so it will be 1s2 and 2s1 and next atomic mass atomic mass of atomic mass of lithium so atomic mass of lithium is what 7 um, lithium is 7 so there are no isotopes of lithium okay lithium no isotopes means uh, only lithium only one uh, only one what uh, this is what li3 and 7 uh, this is what uh, only will exist no isotopes no other isotopes in the nature right lithium will not exist here this is atomic number this is mass number okay this is atomic number so in the base left side base is atomic number and right side top uh, you have to write the atomic mass so lithium will not exhibit any isotopic forms right next uh, fourth one beryllium beryllium so what is the beryllium here atomic number of beryllium is 4 and its symbol is what um, b its symbol is what b and beryllium will exist in so b b that what a solid and compound form so you'll get it a beryllium so in the compound form only so it will exist in compound form compound form next if you see the electronic configuration of beryllium so it will be what um, 1s2 and 2s2 2s2 and its uh, atomic mass will be what uh, 9 and uh, here also no isotopes so here be 4 and 9 so here also no isotopes only beryllium 9 will exist not any other isotopes so please remember here beryllium also will not exhibit any isotopes only one atomic symbol you will get be 9 is the atomic mass and 4 is the atomic number next fifth element fifth element is what next fifth element is what boron boron is the fifth element so boron atomic number is what 5 5 and its symbol is what b symbol is b and uh, boron so it will exist uh, not exist in metallic form pure boron is very difficult but it also exists in compounds so in the compounds you will get what boron available in the form of compounds okay but then uh, its electronic configuration is what 1s2 2s2 and 2p1 so 2p1 and beryllium so atomic mass beryllium atomic mass will be 10.8 you have to take it so here very very important thing whenever atomic masses are coming in fractional in a periodic table whenever any atom atomic number is coming fractional like 10.5 10.8 means some decimal points that means what you need to understand this element will exist in isotopic form with a different natural abundance with a different natural abundance so here actually 
there is no boron with 10.8 grams weight. So this is what you are getting average boron atomic mass from its isotopes. Now what are the isotopes of boron? And here boron is what? 5 and one boron is 10 and other boron is 11. So these are the two isotopes of boron. Both boron's atomic numbers are same, but mass numbers are different. Mass numbers are different. Right now, here if you see that, here it will exist 80 percent and it will exist 20 percent in the nature. So boron available in the form of two isotopes. One is boron 10 which is 80 percent and boron 11 is 20 percent. So together always natural abundance will be 100 percent. So if you take it average of these two percentages, so here 80 into 10 plus 20 into 11 by 100 then you will get what 10.8. So 10.8 is the average atomic number of these two isotopes but there is no boron with 10.8 grams atomic mass. This is what uh, from the isotope average only we are getting 10.8. So please remember this is very very important right this is what uh, average atomic number atomic mass you will get it okay here. How you are getting is already I explained here. So I will get here atomic average mass if you take it here this is what uh, 80 percentage percentage of isotope into its atomic mass plus percentage of isotope into atomic mass by 100. If you do this, if you solve it, this exactly will get what 10.8 you will get it. This is what average only we are taking. This is what average, average atomic mass. Okay, right. Boron available in two isotopes, 10 and 11. It is very very important. So many times asked in previous NEET and JE examination. So how you are getting what is the percentage of? Right. One thing here, when average atomic weight is given when average atomic weight is given. So then you can calculate percentage of that water 10 and 11. For example here first, first one is you take it to x and second one will be what 100 minus x no? By taking 100 minus x then you can find the percentage. 10 boron means with weight 10 what is the percentage and with 11 what is the percentage by equating with 10.8. So you will get x value, x value will be 10 or 11 you will get it. So here anyone, x is the what here 10, so you will get what, uh, this is what uh, 80 percentage you will get x value and remaining 80 minus 100 minus 80 means 20 you will get for this isotope. Okay, this is what the formula you can use to find the what percentage of isotopes are existing in the nature when average atomic weight is given. Okay, later we will discuss finding average atomic mass. Right, this is fifth atom, fifth element. Next sixth one is carbon. Six one is what? Um, carbon. Carbon is one essential and important element in our daily life. Right. Carbon. So carbon atomic number is what? Six. Symbol of carbon is C. And uh, here carbon exists in what? Um, different allotropic forms. So drip, different allotropic form means here carbon is what? Solid. Here allotropic forms means what are the allotropes of carbon? Carbon exists in allotropes. Graphite, diamond and pullerines. So these are the what main elemental source of carbon. So from these you will get what uh, allotropic of means uh, carbon element you will get. So it will exist in allotropic forms. Allotropic, allotropic forms you will get what diamond, from diamond you will get and next uh, graphite, graphite and fullerene, 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 fullerene. These are the what isotopes of carbon. So carbon available in this isotope. Okay. Then uh, if you see the atomic uh, atomic number is what 6. Then there are 6 electrons you have to get in the electronic configuration. If you see the what is the electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. This is what uh, electronic configuration of carbon. Next uh, if you take the carbon. So carbon exists in what s it will exist in isotopic form carbon 6 12 and carbon 6 13 and uh, carbon 6 uh, 14. So these are the isotopes of carbon. So carbon exists in different isotopic forms 12, 13, 14. <coughs> okay, these are what? But naturally means more than 99 percentage carbon exists what uh, 12 only and here it is what less than so 1 percentage and 14 is very 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 less. Okay, their percentage is what? Their percentages are different but they will exist isotopic form. So carbon 12, 13, 14 all are having same atomic number only mass number is different. This is what you have to notice. The next atomic number is 7. So what is the name of element with atomic number 7? 
What is the name of elements? What students have you copied? Right, atomic number seven is uh, nitrogen. Atomic number of seventh, seven atomic number. Name of element is what? Uh, nitrogen. Nitrogen. Nitrogen is one important gas in the atmosphere. Uh, it is uh, nearly eighty percentage. So atomic number is what seven. And symbol of nitrogen is Eln. In the nature, it will exist in the form of Eln2. So it is a gaseous state. It will exist in the form of gas in N2 form. So N2 is what a highly inert gas. Highly inert gas. Due to what there are three bonds between nitrogen and nitrogen. So this N2 gas is highly inert in nature. But even though it is not inert gas, but it behaves like a inert gas. Due to what three bonds between the nitrogen and nitrogen very difficult to break this bond that's why it is a inert gas if you see the electronic configuration electronic configuration is what 1s2 2s2 2p3 now here in the nitrogen there will be half filled configuration please notice here so due to half filled configuration stability will be more next atomic mass of nitrogen 14 yes nitrogen also will exhibit atomic means isotopes but their percentages are very very less 7 14 and 7 15 But their um, abundance means percentage in the nature it will be very very less. So mainly more than 99 point percentage will be nitrogen. 14 only will exist in the nature. This is what um, nitrogen. Next atomic number is what um, H. So what is the name of element with atomic number H? What is the name of element? <coughs> oxygen. So oxygen also one important element in our daily life. So oxygen. So nowadays many people are what uh, <coughs> passing away due to what lack of oxygen. So every day we are watching in news. So every day we need so much of oxygen. So that's why everyone is scaring and uh, everyone is thinking about oxygen cylinders. So oxygen is very very important gas yes, for respiration and uh, to lead our life. So that's why this oxygen is very very important. Oxygen atomic number is what E H. And symbol of oxygen is O. And oxygen in the nature, it is exists in O2, O2 form, and uh, it is gas. Oxygen is a gas. Next in the nature, oxygen available in the form of ozone also. So ozone uh, is a one type of what uh, one layer in the atmosphere. Okay, in the stratosphere, one layer will be there. That layer is said to be what uh, ozone layer. This ozone layer filter normally harmful rays like uh, ultraviolet and uh, other harmful rays. So it will filter and it will pass only. visible light and ir ir and radio waves so that is what it's a protection of earth so this ozone is very very important it it act like a umbrella okay so it it is filtering harmful radiation right here oxygen also very very important yes so to get respiration due to oxygen only we are getting burning of what food materials inside our body that's why we are getting energy in the form of atp so by utilizing atp then so we are living so otherwise you can't so without oxygen there is no life so oxygen is very very important right so here oxygen percentage is what in the nature is a 20% and uh, nitrogen percentage is what 80 nearly 80% so here what uh, this is 79 and 20 remaining gases are only 1% this is nearly 79 79 and this is 20 20 so here remaining all gases are 1% so nitrogen and oxygen so together they are more than 99% in the atmospheric what um, in atmosphere so these two gases are very very important okay right so oxygen available in the form of what o2 and o3 o3 name is what ozone o3 name is what ozone this is what dioxygen or o2 molecule next if you see the oxygen atom electronic configuration there are eight there is a atomic number 8 with atomic number 8 what will get configuration 1s2 2s2 2p4 so totally 2 plus 2 plus 4 eight electrons you are getting that means atomic number is e8 atomic mass atomic mass of oxygen is what uh, 16 16 is atomic mass yes oxygen also exhibit some isotopes but uh, their percentage will be very very less so it is a negligible so if you see the isotopes of oxygen here uh, oxygen atomic number is 8 and here 16 and uh, 8 uh, 17 and uh, 8 uh, 18 so these are what uh, isotopes of oxygens these are isotopes of oxygen so these isotopes are very very important to understand 
reaction mechanisms okay later so when you go deeply inside chemistry definitely you have to use this isotopes okay oxygen o18 isotope to understand the reaction okay like hydrogen also you have to use deuterium isotopes to understand the organic mechanisms so that's why i'm giving here isotopes are very very important then next uh, next uh, ninth atomic number 9 so what is the name of element atomic number 9 tell me atomic number 9 so 9 is what fluorine so 9 atomic number is what fluorine so fluorine is the name of element with atomic number 9 its symbol is what ef the symbol of fluorine is ef so fluorine available in the form of f2 gas f2 gas so it is what it is highly reactive so okay if you want to get it um, so fluorine available in f2 and uh, in compounds form right here f2 and uh, its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p5 so totally there are atomic number 9 means you have to get 9 electrons so these are nine electrons next atomic mass of fluorine is 19 atomic mass of fluorine is 19 so here fluorine isotopes so f19 and here f20 but it is a very less negligible percentage f20 it is a very negligible percentage fluorine also exhibit isotopes but this isotope percentage will be very very less and it is negligible next atomic number of element 10 so with atomic number of element with 10 means its name is what neon so neon is what um, one element in it has its atomic number is 10 and symbol of neon is what any so symbol of neon is any and here so it will exist in neon exist in mono atomic mono atomic it is a gaseous state and mono atomic so what is a mono atomic it will not combine with any other atoms so why because neon itself it is highly stable atom in elemental state itself it is stable so that's why it will not undergo any bonding with other atoms other same or different atoms you need to understand one thing here any atom is combining with other atom or similar or different other atoms definitely it is unstable so to get stability only atoms will undergo chemical reactions or they will undergo combine with other elements resultant you will get what covalent compounds or ionic compounds this is what funda you need to understand in chemistry so that's why here neon already it is stable in mono atomic state so already it is stable so highly stable once it is stable what is the need to mingle with other elements or other atoms already i myself i am very stable what is the need to make friendship or what is the make uh, relationship with you like that so it will ask so why because it is a highly stable atom so this is what individually highly stable there is no bonding with other elements if you see the electronic configuration of neon 1s2 2s2 2p6 and uh, its mass uh, atomic mass will be 20 then uh, here if you take it uh, neon isotopes so neon uh, here 10 and uh, 20 so 20 21 22 they are not negligible so there are uh, other neon also will exhibit some isotopes but they are negligible so here neon 20 neon 20 is the main important element right neon is what mono atomic mono atomic mass it is inert gas and it is highly stable so that's why it will not combine with any other elements so why because it is highly stable later we will discuss how it is getting stability due to what octet configuration so this what we will discuss later in chemical bonding topic okay right next element what is the name of next element 11th atomic number 11 atomic number what is the name of element 11 atomic number is what sodium sodium is the next element sodium its atomic number is 11 atomic number is 11 and symbol of sodium is what na right here you have to get one doubt sir sir here sodium is what we have to take it s is the symbol but here we are using na how you are writing na so na means what it is a greek and latin word na means natrium so natrium is the latin name of sodium so from the natrium you can take first letter means what n and a you can take it first two letters then so its symbol is what na sodium means what s if you write s already sulfur is there sulfur symbol also es so to avoid that we are taking latin name of sodium that is natrium its name is what natrium latin names i think uh, so we have in your ninth standard and eighth, eighth standard latin names okay latin name of elements sodium is what na so sodium available in the form of water metal means it is a solid it is a metallic state sodium available and if you see the electronic configuration 
so 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 and 3 s 1 this is electronic configuration of sodium this configuration you can take it what uh, neon so here after directly i will write neon so directly before writing a valence electronic configuration you can take it uh, neon after neon you can write 3s1 neon means already 10 electrons will be over next 11th electron and then to 3s1 so neon 3s1 also correct after helium also you can write up to neon after helium so after helium like lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine for that you can use helium also no need to write every time 1s2 same way here no need to write 1s2 2s2 2p6 so in place of this configuration you can take uh, neon is the direct symbol it indicates there are already 10 electrons will be completed means filled so 3s1 next uh, here sodium sodium so atomic mass is what uh, 23 so atomic mass is 23 so then uh, sodium will not exhibit any isotopes sodium exists in what uh, here no isotopes only this what uh, sodium 11 and 23 here no isotopes no isotopes no isotopes of sodium next uh, 12 what is the name of element with atomic number 12 magnesium magnesium here let me say one thing here sodium and magnesium these are what alkali metals so they are highly reactive in nature so they are what in atomic metallic state they are highly unstable if you take it up if you go and take the sodium metal in laboratory so definitely so it will be stored in water some oil means some oil like uh, so you have to store this uh, sodium in uh, oil so otherwise if you put it in open atmosphere definitely it will easily catches atmospheric oxygen then it will react with reaction so it will form different compounds so that's why so metallic sodium so will be very very highly reactive all alkali metals and alkali earth metals but alkali metals are highly reactive so to avoid this reactivity you have to avoid open atmosphere open atmosphere right this is what sodium next one is magnesium magnesium atomic number is 12 and uh, symbol is what emg symbol is mg and uh, with uh, magnesium available in the form of magne mg only this is what metallic form and a combined form so magnesium is the metal it will exist in metallic form or in combined form so here elemental state means mg will exist if you write electronic configuration so as i said earlier so before i said no so 10 electron is neon you can take it uh, then here 3 s2 3 s2 is the magnesium electronic configuration then if you take uh, atomic mass it will be 24 so here no isotopes magnesium also not exhibit any isotopes here no isotopes no isotopes no isotopes it will not exhibit any isotopes next 13 atomic number so what is the name of element 13 that is aluminium so aluminium is what the lightest metal so lightest metal so in most of the aircraft means if you want to make a airbus aeronautical okay air buses so you have to use aluminium as a main important metal why because it is a very lightweight and high that what tensile strength so so highly strong and with lightweight that's why in air buses to make aeroplanes okay so most of the air buses we are using aluminium so aluminium is what atomic number is 13 and symbol of aluminium is what al symbol of aluminium is al and uh, aluminium also exists in the form of metallic state only that is what pure metal state aluminium metal next if you see the electronic configuration after neon you can write uh, 3s1 after 3s1 electron will enter into 3p1 so aluminium is what highly electro positive metal so it will easily lose the electron like alkali and alkaline earth metals this is what one speciality of aluminium so aluminium is what uh, easily lose electrons next uh, aluminium atomic weight atomic weight of aluminium is 27 so 27 is the um, atomic mass unit of one aluminium atom next uh, aluminium will not exhibit any isotopes only aluminium so 13 and 27 is the uh, normal form of aluminium no other isotopes okay only one like sodium and magnesium it will not exhibit any isotopes next uh, 14 atomic number 14 what is the name of element with 14 atomic number what is the name of element with atomic number 14 14 atomic number name of element is silicon next uh, 14 is what um, silicon 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 also one very very important precious not precious element to make uh, uh, like uh, diodes and semiconducting materials 
So in the most of the electronic, so in the electronic devices, so especially laptops, computers, so we are making nowadays many electronic devices. In most of the electronic devices, so there are uh, electronic device chips, so all most of the chips, is, memory chips and everything, most of the chips made up with uh, silicon chips. So silicon is the one very good semiconducting material and a very, very important material in electronics, okay, to make uh, electronic devices okay right here the atomic number of silicon is what 14 and its symbol is uh, esi its symbol is esi and silicon normally exists uh, in the form of sio2 it is very very important in the nature silica is available in which form sio2 what is sio2 sand so normally we are playing no sand that is what silica so silica alone not exists with the si so silica means formula of sand is what sio2 formula of sand is sio2 silica exists in the form of sio2 only so this is what sio2 so not pure silica not exist pure si not exist in the form of silica sand silica means what is the formula of sand means sio2 it is a polymer so sio2 is a polymer not a monomer sio2 is a polymer please remember here so every day you are playing in sand that means what indirectly you are playing in silica Okay, that is sand. Its formula is SiO2. You need to remember here. Right, with atomic number 14 means, so what is the electronic configuration? After neon, you can write, uh, so 3s2 and uh, 3p2. Aluminum is what? 3p1. Now it is 3p2. Atomic mass of silicon is what? Uh, 28, so 28. And silica exists in 14, 28 and other isotopes, SI, 14, 29. So these are the two isotopes of silica exist in the nature. Okay, this is what the uh, importance of silica. Next, uh, phosphorus. 15 atomic number is what? Phosphorus. Right, so what is the importance of phosphorus? What is the specialty of phosphorus? So you should know nature of element and its importance. Once you know the importance of element, then only you will get interest to learn chemistry. So that is what uh, application point of view, you need to know about each and every element, basic information you should have it. This element means what, what is the main importance of so and so element, that what it, at least you need to aware it. Then you will get interest to learn all elements. Next is silica, after, after silica, phosphorus. So what is the phosphorus here? Phosphorus, phosphorus, atomic number is what, 15 and its symbol is P. Phosphorus symbol is P. And uh, here phosphorus, phosphorus exists in P4 form and polymeric form. So phosphorus, P4 exists in white phosphorus, red phosphorus in the nature, white phosphorus, red phosphorus, black phosphorus. So there are different phosphorus. So this P4 form. So white phosphorus is what highly reactive. So easily it will catch us atmospheric oxygen and it will burn and it will give the fire. So it will give the what flame, it will give the flame. So what uh, here most of the, I think, uh, during night time, so especially during night time in burial places. So in burial places, in tomb like, uh, you know already, burial place means what? Uh, so where dead bodies will, uh, that what, deposit in that place is city what burial place. So in that places, night time normally sometimes you will get what? One type of fire. So one type of fire you will get, so uh, in midnights especially. What would be the reason here? There is no fire ghost in that. So reason is what? Only phosphorus. So from the animal bones, animal bones are any means bones. From the bones you will get what uh, white phosphorus when this white phosphorus react with atmospheric oxygen. So you will get what reaction? So due to this reaction you will get phosphorus oxide formation. When there will be formation of phosphorus oxide. So then phosphorus oxide plus you will get what fire. So that what uh, is the, we will think it what the fire ghost. But there is no ghost in reality. Right, so don't um, believe ghost and all. Right, here this is what importance of white phosphorus. White phosphorus is what? Uh, one important compound. For, for example, here white phosphorus, if you put it in the open atmosphere, just after 4 or 5 minutes, definitely you will get the fire. Okay, you will get the fire. So you can do magic. You can create the fire without that what litting any match, uh, match stick. Without litting any match stick, simply you will get what fire. Okay, with phosphorus. Why? Because it is highly unstable and it is more reactive with the oxygen. Right, phosphorus 15. So its uh, atomic uh, electronic configuration is after neon, 3s2, 3p3. So here also, like nitrogen, so there will be off-field configuration. So that means what nitrogen and phosphorus belongs to same group. Okay, due to off-field configuration, so that what some properties will be different. Later we will discuss. Right, atomic mass of phosphorus is what? 31. 
So 31 is the atomic mass of phosphorus. Then uh, here uh, phosphorus mainly will exist in P31 only. This is 15 and phosphorus here uh, 32 also will exist but uh, it's negligible percentage of isotope. Phosphorus mainly 31 is the main important element. No other further isotopes. No isotopes of phosphorus. Next uh, 16 atomic number. So what is the name of element with the 16 atomic number? With the 16 atomic number, what is the name of element? 16 atomic number. 16 means sulfur. 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 16 atomic number. Its symbol is what? Yes. And uh, sulfur exists in the form of AC8. This is what uh, AC8. Sulfur exists in S8 form. If you take it sulfur, if you see the structure, structure of sulfur, how will be the structure of sulfur? It is what? Uh, crown structure. Sulfur structure is what? Uh, crown shape. This is what structure of sulfur. The crown structure is very, very important. So sulfur exists in S8 form and its structure is what? Crown structure. Okay? Right, this is what crown, you know that, how will be the crown structure. Then next, uh, electronic configuration of sulfur is after neon, so it will be 3s2, 3p4. So sulfur and oxygen, both are belongs to same group, same group, that is 16th, later we'll discuss. And sulfur mainly exists in isotopic, that is what, uh, sulfur 32 is the main and other isotopes are negligible. So their percentage will be very, very less and uh, negligible. Next uh, element is chlorine. Next, what is the other element? Next element after sulfur, chlorine is the next element. Its atomic number is what? Uh, 17. Chlorine is the next element that is 17 and symbol is what? Cl and chlorine exists in Cl2 form that is what? Gas. In the nature, chlorine exists in Cl2 form that is what? Molecular form. So chlorine exists in molecular form and uh, here uh, this chlorine is a what uh, gaseous state g means what it is exists in gaseous form next if you see the electronic configuration after neon you can write uh, what you can write directly here after neon 3s2 and 3p5 3s2 and uh, 3p5 that means chlorine and uh, fluorine both are belongs to same period uh, same group sorry here in case of fluorine 2s2 3p, uh, 2p5 in case of chlorine 3s2 3p5 so chlorine isotopes, mainly chlorine, uh, atomic number of chlorine. What is the atomic number of chlorine? Here sulfur I gave no. What is the sulfur atomic mass, sorry? Here atomic mass is 32. And chlorine atomic mass is here 35.5. It's very, very important. So whenever you are getting fractional atomic masses, then what I said here, this chlorine exists in what? Isotopic form. Right, if you see that, so chlorine exists in, what are the isotopes here means? Chlorine 35 and atomic number 17. And chlorine 1737. So this 35 fellow will be what uh, here 17.5 percentage, 75 and this percentage is what 25. These are the what natural abundance. Natural abundance of chlorine 75 and 25. Together it is 100 percentage. So if we calculate average isotopic mass, average isotopic mass from these two. So 20, 75 into 35 plus 25 into 37 by 100. So average you will get what 35.5. So this is what uh, there is no chlorine with 35.5 atomic mass you will be having 35 and 37. These are, from this you are getting average atomic mass. This is what average atomic mass. Just two minutes, sir. <laughs> Up to 20, I will. Just two minutes, sir. Then tomorrow again, I have to write it. Next, uh, potassium. So what is the name of, um, uh, right, next, uh, argon, sorry. Argon, argon, atomic number is 18. Its symbol is what, uh, AR, and uh, in the nature, Organ is what gaseous state. It is a monoatomic gas. Monoatomic. What is the meaning of monoatomic gas? So it is what it will not combine with any other elements. Means uh, it will be isolated atom. Means there is no reaction with other atoms, similar or dissimilar atoms. So it is monoatomic and it is highly inert nature. When it is highly inert means already it is stable in the atomic form. Once it is stable in atomic form itself, no reaction with other elements. So that is what you need to understand. Like helium, neon, argon also, monoatomic gas and stable. So then here, after neon, so directly you can write it up. After neon, so what is the electronic configuration? 3s2, 3p6. And atomic mass will be what here? Argon is what? 40. Argon is what? 40. And argon, isotopes are what? Argon 18 and here 40. And argon, 
So 18 and 42, but this is negligible amount. This isotopes are negligible percentage. And next, 19. 19 is what? Potassium. 19 is what? Potassium. Potassium atomic number 19. And symbol is what? K. K is what? Potassium is what? You have to use symbol P, you have to use it. But here we are using K. K is what? Greek and Latin symbol. According to Greek and Latin, K means calmium. So calmium is the potassium name calcium is from the k first letter k is you are using in the symbol next year potassium exists in metallic state that is what ks means metallic state and its electronic configuration after argon directly you can take it after argon so it will be what uh, uh, three uh, sorry here after argon directly it is a uh, 4s one you can use it argon is 18 and one electron 19 next atomic mass will be 39 so please notice here Argon atomic mass is 40 and potassium atomic mass is 39. Actually, if you see the atomic numbers, argon atomic number 18, potassium atomic number 19. Even though more atomic number, but its mass number is what? Decreasing. This is what uh, one drawback. Later we'll discuss, just put one notice here. So, 40 to 39, decreasing trend of atomic mass. So, what would be the reason? Later we'll discuss. This is what potassium. So, potassium will exist uh, mainly, so 39 only. There is no other isotopes. Next, last, uh, 21. 21 is what? Um, calcium. Calcium. Calcium 20. Atomic number 20. Its symbol is what? Ca. And um, calcium exists in solid metallic state. And uh, its um, electronic configuration after argon, it will be 4s2. And atomic mass is what? Here 40. And uh, there is no isotopes of calcium here. Calcium 40 is the only one. And no isotopes. No isotopes. So this is what? Up to 20 elements. Right, tomorrow I will continue, after 20 means 21 to 30, remaining 20 elements, tomorrow I will continue. Once we complete the elements up to 30, then we will write the ionic forms and ionic formula 